picture Really the hottest nigga You gon' respect this lava I'm shooting it if I pull it Boy, make sure you want this drama I bring it to you like it's law and order SVU Turn you to a vegetable Now you look good inside a soup Family come from Bishopville But I grew up in that Bronx Zoo Where they shoot you dead in the street And then dance all on top of you And I do what I got it Started What's good, y'all? It is I, Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, aka Ball Men Do It Better, aka the hardest working man on YouTube, man. Just check the catalog, you know what I'm saying? aka Mr. Consistency Plus Time Equals Results. Back with another Rikers Island story, man. The top five. Wait, can't see my hand. Hold on. Look, right. Right, I'm looking invisible right now. Let me put this up right here. The top five ways that guys get kicked out the whip, aka dropped from the gang. So this is for all y'all who may go to prison one day because you think you're a gangster and you're running the streets and you really think it's worth it. And this is also for those of us who've been in the prison and you can relate to all the things I'm saying. Let me know what y'all think about this list in the comment section as you're watching this video. But without further ado, man, let's get to it. The number one reason guys get kicked out the way, aka dropped from the game. Not agreeing to be a pop old dummy. Not agreeing to be a pop old dummy. And usually when you don't agree to be a pop old dummy, not only are you dropped from the game, but you are faced with a series of unfortunate events. Let's just be real. You're faced with a series of unfortunate events. When you're in the game, let's just be real, right? Your big homies or your big homie, the person who's above you in the pecking order, the person who calls more shots, the person who tells you what to do, you call him your big homie. You call him your OG, but really, he's your dad. If you're in a game, you're not the biggest boss. If people can still tell you what to do, those people are your daddy. Your daddy. When you're in a game and you can insert X any game, you can insert any game, all right? The higher ups, they pick and choose certain people who, who maybe they knew her to the game. Maybe they trying to test the gangster to see how much they down for the team. You may go upstate and they'll be like, yo, listen, this guy right here violated the set or this guy stole from one of the homies or this guy did this, this guy did that. You have to go on the mission. Physically harm that person. Slap that person's face from ear to ear. You have 24 hours to do this, or they'd be like, you got until the end of the day to do this. Or you kick out the whip. Kicked out of the whip means you're no longer part of the game. The enemies that you that you gain while being a part of that game, they're still your enemies, but you do not have the protection. You don't have the support of the game that you used to be on. And you can either choose to go against the grain and not listen. Or you can listen to your daddy, listen to your father, and do what you're told. And if you don't do what you're told, you'll be faced with a series of unfortunate events. You will not only be kicked out of this game, kicked out the whip, you will also face a series of unfortunate events. You could be anywhere and somebody might come at you with a shank, a shiv, a knife, you know, representing said gang. You know, um, people may attempt to slash you. You can be slashed. It's happened to a lot of people. You could choose to let your cojones hang and say, listen, I'm not no doja. I'm not no doja cat and I'm not trying to indulge in that. <laughs> Right? And then you're going to go through it. Is it worth it to have been involved in a gang in the first place? 
I don't know, dog. You tell me. Moving on to number two. On the top five ways guys get kicked out the whip. Drive from the game. Allowing the enemy to live in your crib. Now, this is something I seen a lot when I was in Rikers Island, right? Let's say, for example, the Bloods run a certain crib. The Bloods is running it. They control the status quo. The team is mainly Bloods. And let's say a crib comes in. A crib comes in and he tough. Or maybe the guys who run the crib, they blood. But uh, for whatever reason, they're fond of this gentleman and they letting him live because they respect his gangster. The big homies get one of that. They're going to say, hey, listen, I'm your daddy. I call shots. What you're going to do is you got 24 hours to pack him up, cut him, spank him out the crib, remove him. He needs to be vacant from that area. He needs to be removed from the facility. He needs to be sent out of there to the hospital. So we got 24 hours. Or every single blood in there is a dub. And you'll be faced with a series of unfortunate events. In every single one of these situations, no matter who's cool with who, the crib ends up getting packed up. It is what it is. Why? Because... The authority from the higher up said so. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's oppressive. It definitely is. You know, men have to make decisions based off of what other men say. It's annoying. But you know what? When it comes to this thing called life, there's always a higher authority. There's always a higher authority. Period. Number three of the top five ways guys get kicked out the whip. AKA drop from their game. Number three, not knowing the right information. Now, I've also seen these type of things firsthand. You know what I'm saying? Um, guys may have been the biggest, the biggest gangsters in the town. You know, me, I'm from an area where the Bloods are the dominant gang on our side. So I'm very familiar with, you know, being outside in jail or, or, but first off, I'm not even going to say that was extra. But I'm familiar with being in jail. A new guy comes in. He claims to be blood. The dudes who run everything, they'll step to him. And they'll be like, hey, what, what's such a bang? This, that, and the third. And mind you, I know this because they did it in front of everybody. It's jail. Like, it wasn't a secret when they were doing these type of things. So it's not like I was printing in some extra exclusive secret information. Everyone knows this. But anyway, they be like, yo, man, who you be you bang, blah, 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 blah. And if you was from a certain set, there might be someone else who been in that crib, who rep the same set. They'll come and they'll say whatever little, you know, blood lingo that they have, you know, in order to determine and establish who's who. They'll say it to this new person that this new person does not know his stuff. He'd be a dub. He'd be kicked out the whip. He'd be faced with a series of unfortunate events. Or he'll be made to be a pop of dummy in order to earn his respect. Simple as that. So I guess if you choose to be in the game, you better know your stuff. You better know your stuff because it'll get dangerous for you. This blood stuff is real, baby boy. You know what I'm saying? Number four, the top five ways. Guys get dropped from their game, aka kicked out the whip. Like Gucci Mane did that chick back in the day when he was still fat. Being discovered as a snitch or one who commits serious crimes against women or children. That pretty much goes without saying. These people, these people are plates and food everywhere. Everywhere, no matter what gang you are, whether you was in the gang or not, you know what I mean? You're found out to a toll eat the cheese or you're found out to have done all those heinous things that you two will not allow me to say but I'm going to say I'm going to use euphemisms and I'm going to use three letters to and, and if you know what I mean you know what I mean guys who are guilty of 
CSA, things of that nature, you're gonna get, you're, you know what I'm saying? They gonna bless you wherever you go. You know, and if you go to a maximum, you know, they gonna tax you out your, out your, out your, out your booty hole. Like it's, it is what it is. And they deserve it. No one deserves that more than them. Right? As well as getting kicked out. Kicked out the whip, right? But number five. Hold on, you can't see my hand. Number five on the top five ways. Guys get kicked out the whip. AKA drop from the game. And these are in the most extreme situations, because I know I'll be saying these things and a lot of people be like, Yo, man, I don't happen. Yo, that don't happen like that. That don't happen like that. It definitely don't happen in Rikers House. But it does happen up north, depending on where you're at and how much time the guys around you are doing, right? But the five reason and most extreme reason is refusing to give up your manhood in prison. There's something people don't talk about enough in games, which is that. The highest ranking members in gangs, and they these dudes who are doing like 30, 40, 50 years, life sentences, double life sentences, triple life sentences. They all live the alternative lifestyle. They all for the threat of violence if they cannot extort you out your buns. You, you know what I'm saying? If they can't get your buns, they will relinquish protection of you. They extort you out of your anal credits. They extort you. You know what I mean? This is what people don't talk about. This is what people don't talk about. This definitely happens. This definitely happens. You know, there's a there's a lot of alternative lifestyle things going on in these games. You know People, most people, not most, a lot of people who are in gangs, you know, they're getting, they're getting out their yearning to constantly be around men and want to interact with men. Like, being in gangs and being in these groups and bonding with men so much and bros over, you know how to go, how to go, you know, these guys are like, a lot of these guys at the highest level. They like men. They like men. And they'll find an excuse to do things to a man that a man does not want done to him. And they'll also find men who want to do things with them and do it with them. I got a big video coming in the future with my brother Big Slang Hope. And we're going to expose a lot of this download activity. Why? Because... I want young people to frown upon gangs. I want, I want young kids joining gangs to be as played out as fool, that far, uh, the snap era in hip hop. <laughs> I want it to be played out, and I want our kids to look for something else, man. Cause at the highest level. There's some real unmanly things going on. There's some real, it's some real, you know, there's some real fruit loop thing going on, man. There's some real, you know what I mean? But without further ado, those were the top five ways that guys get dropped from their game, AKA kicked out the whip, man. Let me know what y'all think of this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. As Martin would say, peace. Hey, uh, make sure y'all subscribe to my Instagram, Nate underscore almighty underscore GDA. Subscribe to this channel and my new channel, The Nate and Rich Show.